y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to my bedroom as I am attempting to catch up on everything. And that includes Ted Lasso Season 1, Episode 5, where we have met Rupert. And Rupert can... Ugh. Some of you in the comments said, oh, you didn't see say, hey, Giles, when I saw him. Because yes, no, I forgot he was in Vampy, Vam Buffy the Vampire Slayer, because I never watched Buffy. What I remember him from as a tiny child is he was in these like coffee, I had said Grey Poupon, but it was like these coffee commercials that had a very Grey Poupon, po Poupon vibe about them. It's like international mix. I don't remember, but he was in those and it was like this romancy thing. It imprinted on me as a child, but apparently not enough that I don't remember the product. But that is what I remember him from the most. So we got Rupert, who's just slimy, just ugh, ugh. And, and I guess we're going to see a lot more of him going forward. Yay! <laughs> we also got some Keely and Rebecca bonding, joining. I hope they're friends and they support each other throughout their trials and tribulations. Jamie's still a wanker. And Roy, Roy was being Roy. It was great. And apparently, uh, Ted's wife and, and son are coming to visit. Is it this episode? Is it the next episode? But they're coming. What will that mean going forward? I'm excited to find out. So thank you so much for joining me. As we're about to get started, we're going to get locked and loaded, cozy, comfy. You're going to hopefully remember that full episode watch along of this is available on Patreon, where I would love to see you. I'm also watching exclusively on Patreon, Resident Alien, and I just started this recent season of Great British Baking Show, a great, great British Bake Off, wherever you are from. So check it out. I would love to see you there. So I have my water and I've also been working on an old fashioned. <laughs> yes, this is hitting me hard. So I may be able to form a sentence. I may not, but this is the time I have to watch the show. So we're going to watch it anyway. Okay. So thanks so much for being here and let's get to it. <laughs> slosh, slosh. Uh, okay. 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 Oh, this is a good one. This is a good song. Hoping and praying and praying and planning and hoping and Tell him, boys. <laughs> and one of y'all says that's his real life, which is so sweet. Oh, and tell your boss. I hope she gets heart disease. <laughs> Morning, Ted. Hey, Higgins. Oh. Wow. Oh. Wow. <laughs> it's my fault for staring at my phone. I just can't stop checking on my family's flight. What is this week? Michelle and I. We've been having some marital issues. You really don't have to talk about this if you don't want to. Oh, I don't mind. Tried couples therapy. I think she minds. I think, I think Rebecca minds. Yeah. You know, our therapist gave us this code word to use. So if either of us says Oklahoma, the other one has to tell the God's honest truth. Did ruin the musical for me though. <laughs> so now every time I hear, oh, what a beautiful morning, or uh, what, sorry, with the fringe on top, or. Um, Shall we dance? No, I was from King I. Anyway, if I. <laughs> my wife telling me that my constant optimism is too much. <laughs> wow. Sharing of feelings is because I opened up to you about my ex husband at the gala. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Come on now. I bet deep down you kind of dig we're getting so close, right? I do. Oklahoma? I do not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a thought I had last time with when Rebecca was saying to Rupert that Ted was exactly what the club needed. She hired Ted because she didn't believe in him. And that's Ted's big thing, is that you have to have somebody who believes in you. And she didn't believe in him. Love. Uh, Keely, why are you there? Why are you there? Why are you there? Why are you here? Oh my God, you're Keely Jones. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. Oh, you can't get mad. You broke up with me. Like 24 hours ago. Mm-hmm. What was I supposed to do, shower by myself? 
Sorry, can I just say I'm your biggest fan? Wow, thank you. Why is she here though? Whenever I break up with someone, I spend months questioning it, wondering if I made a huge fucking mistake. But you have really helped me to feel good about this decision just by being yourself. Being you. Well, then you're welcome. I like to make people feel good. We still gonna be around for the promo shoot later. Oh, the promo shoot that I've spent weeks setting up for you? Yes. It was nice to meet you. Tilly, why are you there? <laughs> I missed what she dropped. Hey, Jimmy! Jimmy, I'm open! Mm mm. Oh, nope. What are you doing? That was going in? I mean, come on, Sam was more open than the jar of peanut butter on my kitchen counter. Uh oh, that's right. Y'all don't know I like to keep the peanut butter open. That way, whenever I walk by, I can just stick my finger in it. Wow. Fucking good idea, to be fair. Yeah, it is. <laughs> We're going to keep doing this until we get it right. Let's go. <gasps> Practice is canceled. <laughs> oh, please let this work out. Buddy! Helicopter! Oh, you got it. Oh, two spins. <laughs> Oh, I hope this works out for him. I'm sorry to report, but this weekend's match will not be completely sold out. Not a surprise. We've lost four matches in a row and we're facing relegation. Mm-hmm. I think it's all going rather smashingly. Yeah. I'm happy to be the new brand ambassador for Dash Diner. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I've got my tats. I've got that one. It's very important to me. Chinese farm. No judgment, but are you back with that twat? We're done. God, I love that you care, though. <laughs> I just run out if I can reach those lips. <laughs> I don't want you to offer me a job just because I was nice to you in the loo the other night. Why not? Men give each other jobs in toilets all the time. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> I meant employment, like job jobs. So not hand or blow or foot. Foot? Oh, you're right. Technically, it would be feet, right? <laughs> Unless you want to carry on doing... What is it you're doing again? I'm sort of famous for being almost famous. Ah. Oh. Oh. All right. Fries are called chips. Chips are called crisps. I love his neighborhood. When are you going to win a game, you f***ing wanker? Hey, Baz. Fellas, uh... Oh, my gosh. He knows the guys' Absolute names. pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Lasso. Nice recovery. Hello, young man. Here are the darts. There's the board. <laughs> Try not to hit any regulars. Oh, you already done, bud? Yeah, he probably should be. <gasps> well, I I'm sorry about that. How much of the time? Oh! What are you doing? How far did that go in? And then I'll send them over to you. Yeah, firstly, babe, they won't be anywhere I look like shit because... Why don't you just bring them over to my place and we can look at them together? Maybe we're naked. Oh. God, no. Thank you again, Jamie. Smart move. I have to hang out with that prick. The fact that you would choose to be with him is frankly mind-blowing. And who asked you anyway, huh? Right. Apologies. No, it's fine. You should definitely weigh in on my life. I'll make sure that I text you. Anytime I have to make a decision, yeah? No, that's what I'm dealing with. <laughs> <laughs> I love that she already has his number. So what is going down in their marriage? Hmm. Hey, look at that scarf. I like it. Wait, one cut. <laughs> I appreciate you. We'll see what happens, huh? <laughs> yeah, we've never seen one of these before. That right scone. there? That's a scone. That's a proper scone. Tastes like a muffin, except it sucks all the spit out of your mouth. Well, you gotta put the jam and the clotted cream on it. Oh. People's kids, holy moly. Mm -hmm. Nice out there, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I can make us some breakfast. What's wrong? What is happening? I think I'm just a little jet lagged, is all. I I'm fine, Ted. No, 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 Michelle, you gotta talk to me. Oklahoma. 
Uh, Oklahoma. Every day, I wake up hoping that I'll feel the way I felt in the beginning. <gasps> I'll keep trying. You know I will. Ready to go. You go I mean, you're going to need pants, kiddo. Yeah. You know. Let's get some pants. Come on. So why doesn't she feel the same? I try to feel the same way. Why doesn't she feel the same way? I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Marriage, just so. <gasps> we shared this with Nate. If you're so worried about your relationship, then why did you fly 4,438 miles away? That is a very specific number to know off the top of your head. Oh, well, uh, my dad used to be a cartographer. Hmm. I think at some point I realized that me being around so much was doing more harm than good. Like anytime I tried to solve any of her problems or do something sweet for her, it just would backfire. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and this therapist we were working with decided that Maybe the best thing to do would be to give her a little space. I'll leave you lads to your match day planning. Well, uh, no, well hold, hold your horse there, amigo. You mind if I get your take on something? Oh, yeah, because he's been married for a while. But I assume you all have had your fair share of hard times, though, yeah? Did you not hear the five boys, tiny house, dying cat bark? That's the thing, though, isn't it? If you're with the right person, even the hard times are easy. If you're with the right person, Someone call 911. I want to report a truth bomb. I think they do 999 here? It is 999. Yeah. <laughs> Emergencies? Boy, that seems troublesome to me. Arlo White here with Chris Powell, live from Nelson Road Stadium, the home of. God, I hope they win this one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <sighs> you a germaphobe? Because I'm trying to think of a reason you didn't put your hand in with the rest of the team. Didn't want to. Bench him. Is he going to bench him? I was about you and me make a deal. You get to keep on preaching all of your yeehaw bullshit. And in exchange, I'll keep ignoring you because this team is tragic. Bench him. You know, I'd love to hash out some of the nuances there, but I'm not having the best of days. Actually, basically. it doesn't matter what you say, because in my head, I'm just there in the crowd cheering my name after I scored a goal tonight. Jamie Tat did it, did it, did it, Jamie Tat did it, did it, did it. As undeniably catchy as that tune is, I need you to cut the crap right now. Mmm. Right? Yeah. Jamie Tart? Hello, little lads. What do you say to my shirt? Mmm. All right, turn around. Don't be an ass. Jamie Tart did it, did it, did it, Jamie Tart did it. Someone's been watching the games at home. He lasso! Nice family, Paul. Damn it, Paul! Don't humanize it! Well, <laughs> it's Richmond are <gasps> 2 0 down. Two. Oh. He finds space. He has Obisanya on the right. Oh, no, he's doing it himself. Oh, what a finish! What's he yelling? Um, me. He's uh, pointing at the name on his back, and the people are yelling me. Oh, I thought he was saying meat. No, he's taking all the credit. Come on, Ralph! They got to knock that off! To say he got off easy there, and Obi Sanya is still down. Oh, no! Yeah. Excuse me, mate. <gasps> oh, the captain dispensing some wisdom to the young superstar. Nothing wrong with that. Sam? Yeah? I'm not to move you there. There you go. Oh, what the fuck is oh. Chris, have you ever struck a team? Right. No, but I've wanted to. I'm actually a bit jealous. Yellow guarded him. You're right, Sam. Honestly, it doesn't even hurt anymore. But everyone was looking such a fuss, I thought I should just stay down. <laughs> I'm gonna pull you out. I'm gonna pretend to limp very badly. I'm gonna gesture like you think can bravely go on. Don't love it. Looks like he'll play through the pain. Such determination. You'd love to see it. <laughs> with an opportunity to tie the game. Will he find the team? But he won't. Or go for glory. We've taught that she's usually a rhetorical question. Mm-hmm. And he's got it! That's two for Jamie Tart. I'll be right back. You'll be right back to do what? Seen this before. Ted Lasso is running into the stands. He's not slowing down on those steps. That's some real impressive cardio from Ted Lasso. Hello, Ted. You're doing great, Dad. 
that? Yeah, you got this. Thanks, guys. Uh, I want to bench Jamie. I think it's funny he's asking Rebecca first. Interesting. Whatever you decide, you have my full support. Thanks, boss. All right. Hey, alligator. Bye, Dad. Hey, highlighter. We got ourselves a highlighter. <laughs> highlighter. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Bringing Roberts on and he's taking off. Jamie Charles! Me. And that's half time. What kind of reception awaits Lasso in his locker room? <gasps> he left for the day. Good! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oi, sit down, listen. Thanks, Roy. Got ourselves a tie game. Fellas, we're broken. We need to change. I know change can be scary. One minute, you're playing freeze tag out there at recess with all your buddies. Next thing you know, you're getting zits. And every time your art teacher, Miss Scanlon, leans over your desk, you feel all squiggly inside. That's rather specific. First time I ever saw tan lines. <laughs> now, I think that's what it's all about being brave, doing whatever you have to so that everyone in your life can move forward with theirs. Oh, Ted. It's the only way you can truly help her be happy. Ted. Obviously, by her, I'm referring to Lady Football. Good save. <laughs> and Beard's going to walk you all through the rest of the changes. Is he now? Oh, hey, 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 one last thing. And I want everyone's eyes on me when I say this. Look at me. Never really liked her. You know, bro. <laughs> oh, I hope they go and obliterate the second half. He's open, he's open. There you go. A through ball from Coburn and Kent is oh, the He's taken himself, but he makes it. Oh, the bass. That's how you play as a team. <laughs> Yay, they won one. To Rose, what you did. That's all we got in the ball, Roy. We got a handshake from Roy Kent. You hear that, Coach? Yeah, it's different. Yeah, kind of like back in the 80s. Who was president back then? Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan? The actor? Oh, man. <laughs> I love when you do Doc Brown. <laughs> Daddy? Yeah? What's a wanker? <laughs> Mm-hmm. <gasps> Is he breaking up with her in the rain? Back at school. Us being the only two people in that big old parking lot at the exact same time. No way for us to know it was gonna be the start of something. Ah! Oh. <sighs> Did I scare you? You snuck up on a woman in a parking lot <laughs> at night. <laughs> Good night, Kaylee. Shell, there's something I could do or something I could say that would make you be happy. I'd do it in a nanosecond. You don't have to keep trying anymore. It's okay. I'm gonna be okay. Yeah? Shoot. <sighs> I promised myself I would never quit anything in my life. But you're not quitting, Ted. You're just letting me go. Although I think he needed a whiskey chaser with that beer. Oi, wanker. Good job tonight. Thank you, sir. 
<laughs> so sometimes when people say like they're breaking up or they're getting divorced, I never know if it's a good thing or a bad thing because my breakups have been good things because they were shits to me. So I was like, yes, they needed to go. So in this situation, I don't know which one it is because we have been given no information about why their relationship fell apart. But it was interesting how she was saying how she was trying to recapture how she felt before. So why doesn't she feel that way anymore? And then also Ted was saying he kept trying to fix things. Well, sometimes you don't need everything fixed. And maybe she just, he overwhelmed her. I don't know. But there was more there and we didn't get any of it. So this is sad because you can see how much it affects them. But why do they break up? Like we know why, but why? But why? I felt so sad when he said he never quit anything. And oh, oh, this is sad. Roy and Keely. Try not to ship them because I don't want to be disappointed. However, there are sparks. There are sparks. And Jamie needed to be benched. He needed to be benched. You cannot win on yourself. He needed to learn sportsmanship and playing with a team. Soccer, football is a team sport. And he was just an asshat. Ugh. And that song is stupid catchy. Ugh, why? Was the name of his character to make that song happen or did it just somebody caught, talked, caught the name and went, hey, you know what we can do? <laughs> Stupid catchy. But Ted has won his first match. He's gotten his team to work a little bit more together because they cut the loose thread for now. We know Jamie's not gone forever, but... And Rebecca confided in Ted for half a second. Ted thinks he can confide in her. How badly, how badly does she want to bring... Mm, that was another thought I had. Okay, Ted, Rebecca got the team and the divorce. Rupert loved this team. So why did it end up in Rebecca's hands and not just a boatload of money? And she got it to drive it to the ground because Rupert loved it so much. But conversely, couldn't she also stuck it to him just as well by making it a bigger success than it was under his ownership? It could go either way. It could go either way. So we're halfway through the season. Where else can we go? Where else can we go? <laughs> well there you go episode five thank you so much for joining me on this adventure we have plenty more to go so make sure you've hit subscribe if you haven't already so we know when the next video drops plus i would just love to see you again and until next time though when we do see each other again take a moment to breathe <sighs> stretch touch your toes stay hydrated and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all. And until next time.